Dunlap Circle North. It's the Josephine Woods development in Roseville. So we're at County Road C and Lexington. This is our sixth year, actually, that we've been doing this event. We did an event prior to National Night Out, and then it just evolved to this event. house for the kiddos. Um, we have a potluck so everyone's brought different foods, hot dogs, um, pizzas, chips, juice boxes, you know, the typical block party fair. It's a great evening, it's a great night to unite with your neighbors. The police department and the fire department came by and the kids loved it. opportunity for neighbors to get together and catch up. My name is uh, Pastor Vu Lee here at uh, King of Kings uh, Lutheran Church School here in Roseville. This is our first Night to Unite here in Roseville that our church has held. As you can see behind me, we've got a good crowd you know, and a bunch of people from the neighborhood has come by. And um, the reason why we've done this is just to, you know, like what the title says, you know, night to unite, to unite our neighborhood and unite our our family and our culture, and and you know, you know, to prevent crime and to and be able to just work together as a unity and as a community. Because this is our first year, you know, I think we, you know, I think we've done great. You know, we got a few things going on here, but you know, definitely next year I want this to be bigger and better. And um, you know, how we got this going was I got the idea of printing out some door tags. And all we, what we did was just a Saturday before we walked around the neighborhood, and all we did was we tagged over a thousand homes right within our neighborhood here. And so other other uh, churches, other organizations can do the same thing. And you know, and the people say, hey, look at these door tags. People came by, they pray for our neighborhood, pray for the safety of our homes. And so people came by and you know, nobody can give up a free hot dog. So. This is National Night Out. Uh, we're having a block party, trying to get to know our neighbors because I think that's a good way to keep your neighborhood safe. Well, we invited everybody to come and bring their own meat and beverage and then a dish to pass. So uh, we're just trying to kind of get to know each other. I moved in 40 years ago, so I've raised two children. Uh, I love Roseville. I haven't had any trouble for 40 years, so I think this is a very safe neighborhood right here. And then the neighbor here has his friend singing. I just encourage every neighborhood to have black parties, get to know your neighbors, and I think we'll keep this neighborhood safe. We've done this in our neighborhood, I think, for, boy, maybe uh, 20 years. Uh, the last four or five years, we've had a theme. And this year, we're going back to the 50s. And we're very fortunate to be able to get a uh, Elvis impersonator here. Well, we've lived in this neighborhood here for 28 years, since the very, very, very beginning. And it's been a great, great location. Is, uh, you know a great chicken from over at Cub, uh, uh, coleslaw from over at uh, down the road down here and one of our neighbors over here brought their 56 convertible. Uh, 
I would say we've got probably 90% of our uh, friends and neighbors here with us. So, yeah, it's been great. We had a great turnout, just great turnout. So fun, 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 fun. We are on uh, Galtier Street having a block party. We have a great potluck gathering on our block annually on National Night Out and uh, there are kids and young adults and older adults, lots of families mixing and mingling here tonight. The police and the firefighters have come to entertain the kids. For the kids, they, you know, they get to build that positive relationship with law enforcement and with firefighters. They're not frightened when first responders appear on the scene. They know that there's someone who's going to help them. But I think, again, it's a conversation with the community. It's really important that there's a lot of transparency and good communication. So the city's getting hit pretty hard right now. What is happening is these opportunists, I'll call them thieves, they're just coming through your neighborhood. They're typically high school kids, younger adults, and they're just looking for opportunity. And they're just grabbing the side of your car door handle if it's unlocked, they're going in and they're taking anything that they can. So please lock your car doors. What else do you need to lock? Your service doors to your garages. Well, it's been a lot of fun. My kids have grown up in this community and um, and I think every, every block, every neighborhood should have an event like this. I have people asking me, oh, our block doesn't do anything like that, and it's kind of sad because it's such a fun thing. Our family looks forward to it every year. It's being the guardian of the community, and there are times where we have to be the warrior, and I think you know that. We have to be a warrior occasionally, but for the most part, it's overwatch. In the middle of the night, when you're sleeping and you hear that bump in the night, who's gonna come? Law enforcement will get the job done. Like I said, I've never been prouder to be a cop. I love this community. You're the people standing with us, beside us, behind us, and supporting us. And that means the world to all of us. Well, it's the neighborhood block party today, and we're in Farrington Street. And it's a, a very important event for our neighborhood because we're able to come together and see all of our neighbors as well as the police department and usually the fire department. Yeah, I like this a lot. I was excited for it today at school. There's a lot of like desserts and brownies, stuff like that. You know, I love my neighborhood. I love my neighbors. Um, it's really nice to be able to go outside and say hi to people and, and get to know them on a personal level. I think it's really good to get out there and celebrate your community and, and get to know your neighbors. Yeah. Yeah.